Once an investor has identified their risk capacity, the next step is to match it to the right asset allocation or risk exposure. Asset allocation is the most important determinant of a portfolio's expected return, so getting it right is crucial. Academics Eugene Farmer and Kenneth French showed that as much as 96% of equity returns are explained by exposure to the market size and value factors. Indexes constructed of U.S. small and U.S. value stocks, Farmer and French demonstrated, have historically outperformed the total market index over the long term, albeit with a higher level of risk. A common mistake investors make is taking the wrong risks. For example, they fall for the notion that commodities such as gold and silver, oil, beef or grains provide a hedge against inflation and a low correlation to equities. The evidence suggests they offer neither. The golden rule with risk exposure is to stay diversified. There's nothing you can do about market risk. It's a risk you need to take. But by diversifying across different asset classes, you can substantially reduce the risk of being too heavily concentrated in particular assets, countries, industries or sectors of the economy. It also pays to diversify across time by holding your portfolio for as long as possible. Again, market risk is inescapable, but you should put it in perspective. Think of your portfolio as an investment in global capitalism. Yes, asset values are bound to fall as well as rise, but unless you honestly believe that Capitalism Inc. will go out of business, it makes sense to stay invested. So the optimal strategy is to invest in a portfolio that directly corresponds to your particular risk capacity, capturing every available increment of risk exposure. There's a right amount of risk for every investor.